all of King 5 is gearing up for our big celebration to end the year. T-Mobile New Year's at the Needle. Team Evening always hosts the show, but yours truly has been added into the mix this year and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And here to tell us more about what we can expect is Randy Cote from the Space Needle. I am so thrilled that I get to be a part of it this year. And truth be told, I may have kind of invited myself. <laughs> I mean, you got to get in however you can. And, and not only are you coming to Seattle Center to party with us this year, yeah. it is the first time we're inviting crowds back to Seattle oh, Center yes. since 2019. Since 2019. So, and think of that, plus it's on a Saturday, plus you're going to be there. The party's going to be pretty wild, the, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're going to try to keep, we're going to be having so much fun. So hopefully everyone will come because there are so many different things. We're going to add new heights, adding drones to the fireworks show. How does this even work? Correct. That is our big announcement this year is that we are adding drones to the show for the very first time. So the Space Needle right, has always stood for innovation, forward thinking, what's yes. next, the sort of future of tomorrow. And nothing represents that quite like drone light shows, which are definitely having a moment. They use yes. technology, lights. I think, you know, the first drone show Seattle really got its eyes on were this past summer when T-Mobile Park and the Mariners had a drone yes, show after a, cool. a game. So we're using the same company, which is called Sky Elements. They're based out of Texas. They're going to be flying 200 drones right next to the Space Needle, all coordinated with our fireworks and light show to ring in 2023. That is going to be incredible. And you know these guys are good because they've got to have all the permits, right, and all the things to make sure. They've got the FAA on speed dial. Yes, right? I am like, sure, right? <laughs> yes. um, so between about 200 and 600 of them are just going to be north of the needle at the same height as the observation deck? 200 drones flying between 200 and 600 feet. Oh, so oh my gosh. So the Space Needle, right, is 605 feet tall. Yes. They will be as tall as the Space Needle flying right next to it. Uh, so you got to, like, you close your eyes and go there. It's New Year's night. The clock strikes midnight. There's fireworks exploding off of the Space Needle, lights flashing off of the needle as we've seen the last few yes. years. And then those drone formations right next door, everything from counting us down to the new year, to shapes and elements and artistic expression that align with the music and the fireworks. It's a whole visual spectacular. Visual spectacular. And it, hopefully it's not foggy, because people will probably be able to see this from pretty far away, right? Yeah, the, the lights, uh, they're they are pretty remarkable. I think if you can see the fireworks and you can see the light show, you'll be able to see the drones. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've put in a good call to Rich Marriott for uh, good weather yes, that night. thank uh, you. We want just enough wind to keep the, the smoke and the fog cleared Moving so that we on. can see everything, yes. uh, but not too much win so that we can fire the show and have it go off without a hitch. So, wow. so what else can people expect? I know you said it's a, we're going to have crowds back in person. There's going to be more excitement, but what else is happening? Yeah, I mean, the, so at the Space Needle, we've gotten a lot of questions about, so is there a party back on top of the Space Needle? We're not quite back with the party on top of the Space Needle. So right. if you're coming down to Seattle Center, it's all about being out on the grounds, uh, enjoying the end of Winterfest, which is Seattle Center's big celebration that's happening now through New Year's. So yes. they'll have live music, uh, performances, a lot of excitement to keep people ready for midnight. The other thing, at 10 and 11 p.m., so two hours and one hour before uh, the big show, we'll have a light-only show uh, that'll sort of tease the experience, get people ready for that's the fun. big moment at midnight. So if you are down and around, you'll see some lights from the Space Needle on uh, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock as we get ready for midnight. Because you want to get there early to get a good spot, right? Yeah, great spots by the Mural Amphitheater is a great spot, the mm -hmm. International Fountain. Oh. Truly, if you're anywhere in the vicinity of the Space Needle, you're going to have a great view, yeah. but the drones are going to be facing toward the west when they, they okay. sort of spell out things. Oh, good so the best know. place to see your inside tip is either be on the west side over closer to Climate Pledge Arena or watch on King 5, which watch will have the King. best angle, of course. We'll have the best views <laughs> right here. You know it. This is the 10th year T-Mobile has presented New Year's at the Needle. That's amazing. 10 years. Yeah, 10 years of uh, T-Mobile as our presenting sponsor. It's our 31st New Year's at the Needle celebration, and yeah. we kept the tradition going even through the pandemic with the virtual shows and the hybrid shows. So, right, we're going into our fourth decade of the New Year's at the Needle celebration wow. in our 60th anniversary year. It's a it's a big deal. It's beautiful. People all around the world see this. It's so amazing. It's such an iconic thing. Our beautiful Space Needle. Uh, real quick before I let you go, what's next? I know that it's not it's not going to be Galaxy Gold forever on top, right? That's right. So the you know we're painted Galaxy Gold on the roof for our 60th anniversary. That'll be through April. So we turn 61 on April 21st of 2023. We have some of our top fundraisers and fastest climbers from our charity Stair Climb, based oh, to space, fine. are going to join us in April to paint it back to astronaut white. 
I love it. Yep. Oh my gosh. Well, the Space Needle is truly one of the most magical places in Seattle. Thank you for coming in today, Randy. Thank you all for joining us on New Year's Eve. You can catch T-Mobile's New Year's at the Needle at 11.35 p.m. right here on King 5 and on our app, King 5 Plus, which is a super easy way to watch us. Well, we are not done with the DIY decor. My husband Chris is back to show me one more fabulous project you can easily try at home. Stick with us. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Space Needle.